Kansas most likely going with a young quarterback will need a solid running attack to have a chance to move the ball against Big 12 defenses. We bring in David Potter from Rock Chalk Talk on the SB Nation platform for KU Athletics to help us out at the running back spot. So uh, DeAndre Mann gone after gaining 387 yards, about five and a half per carry for him. Uh, and also Taylor Cox, who gained uh, 231 yards and scored a couple touchdowns. Both of those guys move on. So Kiwan Kinner, the senior, uh, David, is the guy that seems to be uh, in line to take over uh, as definitely the starter. Obviously, he was the guy that gained the most yardage last year. Uh, your skills uh, in regards to your take on his skill set coming into uh, 2016. Well, he's, uh, he's known as a speed back, and he flashed that at times, especially early on last season. He was the starter out of the gate, uh, but really dealt with injury problems throughout the year. Uh, we found out after the season that he really played the whole year needing shoulder surgery, uh, got banged up in a number of different ways, and that's when Mann and Cox started taking over some of the carries, and his uh, playing time got limited a little more as the season went on. Uh, so we really haven't seen much of him at full health. But uh, what we have seen at least early last year and based on the, the scouting report coming out of junior college is that uh, he does have great speed. He's one of the faster players on the team um, and should have some playmaking ability if they can get him some space, whether that's in, in screen passes or uh, you know if the offensive line can open up some bigger holes for him. Um, he, he should be more of a big playback, but only if they can give him the opportunity to be. Now, last year, uh, the the holes really weren't there for him to run through, for anyone to run through, uh, just because teams didn't really respect the passing game enough to to back off the line, and they pretty much uh, put most of their – brought the safeties up, put most of their players uh, closer to the line of scrimmage, and there just wasn't much running room to be had. Um, So we'll see if maybe things can open up a little bit this year and Kinner can show off that speed and uh, maybe make make some plays in the open field. Yeah, Kinner had a nice day against uh, Memphis uh, early in the season with 113 rushing yards, kind of disappeared during the middle of the season. You mentioned the injury situation, only had 25 carries for about a four-game span, then hit up TCU on the road with a nice game of 17 carries and 80 yards. Uh, Taylor Martin, Ryan Shadler, a couple of young players that uh, could be into the mix as well. Um, Talk about the backup situation. Yeah, they're, they're both speed guys as well, which kind of gives some insight as to what Beatty wants to see out of that position moving forward. Uh, I know they did some speed testing in the spring. Taylor Martin is apparently the fastest player on the team, according to their testing, uh, but really couldn't get on the field much last year being a true freshman and behind those three upperclassmen. Uh, this will be a good opportunity to see if he's picked up more of the nuances of the running back position and can get himself some more playing time. Uh, Ryan Shadler is a a similar type of back. He actually spent a year at Wichita State on the track team as a sprinter. Uh, He returned a kickoff for a touchdown last year, so we've seen that he's got really good speed as well. Um, But again, just a true freshman last year, really just learning to play the position at the college level, and we really didn't get to see much out of him. So if if Kinner continues to struggle with injuries and uh, and isn't able to really handle the, the full workload over the course of the season, those two guys are going to be thrown into action and we'll, we'll really see what they're, what they're capable of doing unless maybe Beatty adds a, a surprise senior transfer or something in, in fall camp this summer. So Martin and Chandler just uh, barely getting into the field last year, a few carries per game. Martin, 16 carries for the season, 42 yards. Chandler, you mentioned him and uh, both these guys extremely fast, but uh, Chandler with a nice effort in particular against Texas, six carries, 56 yards, uh, gained 100 yards on 20 carries last season so hopefully they can complement kinner and uh, maybe you've got uh, something going in the backfield and something for defenses to think about with uh, the speed game that uh, coach Beatty wants to play david potter from rock chalk talk helping us out on the backfield at ku david we appreciate it thank you